All right, so this is supposed to be. All right, so this is supposed to be in yesterday's video, but it came at 8.30 at night, which is ridiculous, because when it says package will be there by end of day, typically that's 8 p.m., and even that's extremely late. I didn't think I was gonna get it, so I figured I'd just make a short vlog with the fitnessing, and then, you know, start and finish the video with text, which I haven't said. What's up, crew? Walk on these things, huh? It's either run or get up. It was uh, assault bike calories, air squats. My legs ain't ready for that. It's only air squats. It's only air salt fucking calories. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
20? There it is. It's almost like pedaling slow hurts more because it takes so long, but it's the same amount of pain because if you go fast, you just, wow. all that you feel for the <laughs> That was awful. <laughs> Gonna open this bad boy up. I haven't really said anything about it on the vlogs, but I am the most excited I've been in a while to open up a package uh, because this is, this is something that's gonna help me with a lot of different projects. Mostly the NSFW videos, which hopefully we'll be shooting another one tomorrow. This top piece is cool. I can open that first, I guess. Put this box down. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, these are kind of heavy duty right here. This is nice. There's Dylan. You all done? So this sort of gives away what it might be. Let's go ahead and move on. I don't think there's anything else in this box except for a manual. But always keep it just in case you need to skim through and find something random that you couldn't figure out on your own. That roll. A lens cleaning cloth. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, some straps. And then the rest is packaging down there. And the piece of resistance. The crane too. It won't necessarily replace my uh, Ronin. It's only going to supplement in instances where I don't want to have to set up for 15 to 30 minutes and break down for 15 minutes. And walking around with that giant uh, piece of equipment, the Ronin, it can be sort of cumbersome when I'm like in tight spaces or just trying to follow someone around and not be too, you know, ambiguous, conspicuous. So this is gonna allow me to shoot the drop of a hat whenever someone wants it, I can throw it together. Pretty sure the setup time is much quicker. Orange grip tape. It said random color and I ended up with orange. Lovely. This, this is a really nice case. It isn't hard case, so I'm gonna look and see if Nanook has something for the crane, although this is pretty nice. I don't know that I would want to replace this. This is pretty darn cool. Mm -hmm. And this is actually something that I really love about this. Oh, it did come with an extra charger. I don't know about batteries. I was worried about this tripod piece being really like light duty because it looked not that great in the Amazon picture, but this feels sturdy. It's, it's metal, it is nice. Another charger, which the other one I already opened, it came separately for some reason, and it's currently charging some batteries, which I don't know if this came with batteries, but if it didn't, I have some charging. Then we're gonna go ahead and just take this guy out. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Ooh, it's a big grip. Nice. The cool thing about this one is it comes with all these little buttons and dials. One of them is for record. One of them changes the mode, which I'm not sure what we'll do. And then there's, ooh, I hope that this menu wheel. So I think most of this should be able to control the camera, which I'm guessing it just depends on whether or not my camera can hook up to it. And this is a focus dial which is huge because uh, one of the main struggles I've had with the Ronin is I'm following somebody and they're way out of focus and I have no way of controlling that. This will allow me to find focus it while looking at the, the screen rather than trying to like finagle some weird position. Now this is super cool because uh, I could just do this if I need to so that it's not in the way and then easily deploy it so that I can go ahead and just pop it right down. I'm so excited about that. The Ronin didn't have stands like that. Obviously the Ronin 2 does if you follow photography, videography, or anything like that. The Ronin 2 has some feet on it so that you can sit it down wherever and wherever you want. The Ronin M, the one that I have, does not have that. So this, this will allow me to, ooh, it goes 360. This will allow me to sit it down and go do something. Um, if I am using it as like a vlog camera in the gym, I am able to pick it up, talk, and then set it down, and then do whatever I'm doing while it's stabilized, which is super cool. Obviously, this doesn't really hook onto anything. I could put it on the Gorillapod, but I'm not gonna put semi-expensive piece of equipment on a uh, not so 100% sturdy 
thing. But I'm gonna mess around with this thing. But thanks for watching today, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hit the like button, leave a comment, share this video. Those are the things that help grow the crew. And until tomorrow, the whole point of the dancing is the dance. I'll see you later, crew. Oh.